Hi, and welcome to the second of six videos on legal research online. My name is Sue, and I'm taking you through this very short journey on the first of many resources that we'll be going through. Today we'll be looking at Osley, which is one of two most popular open access resources available. The URL is um, on my screen and uh, a little bit of background. So Osley was founded by Professor Graham Greenleaf in 1995 and its modus operandi was to be the primary resource for all legal information to be made available online for the whole community. Now, since then, there has been um, the emergence of SAFLI, the South African Lee, there's Hong Kong Lee, and also there is uh, PACLI, here you go, which collects all the legal information for the Pacific Islands. Now, with OSLI, you can find primary resource, as in legislation, and also case law as well. The only caveat with using OSLI is that its search engine is a little bit difficult to maneuver. So do not treat this as the, the go-to or um, research platform. You will have to use Google to guide you at a certain point. Think of Google as a high-powered torch and Osley is the room that you're looking for information. So for example, I'd like to show you where things are. Now, if you know the act that you're looking for, that's the easy bit. You go, well, let's think about um, Civil Procedure Act. Maybe I'll just do a search. So that's what I'm going to type now, Civil Procedure Act. Pretty easy, right? Hit return. And ideally, this should return a result for me if the system doesn't die. Now you'll see that it throws up multiple results and you'd be looking at this and go, well, I really don't know which one I'm looking at. Why is there consolidated regulations and numbered acts and, and does Victoria, does that mean New South Wales doesn't have it? And that's what I mean by its search engine's a little bit wonky. So the best way of doing this is actually going to Osley, to its um, directory. So let's say you're going to New South Wales Civil Procedure Act. I'm New South Wales based, and I want to go to New South Wales New South Wales leg legislation. I want consolidated acts, and then I go to you for Uniform um, Civil Procedure Act. Or I just want to go to C for Civil Procedure Act, which is all the way down. And here it is. It is four clicks. It's a little bit long, but at least you still get there. And that's the act itself. Click on any of the numbers highlighted in blue, and it'll take you to Section 10 of the Civil Procedure Act. The other way of looking for primary information is this. Let's say you are hitting a question on indirect discrimination. You're doing employment law for the very first time and you look at a question which deals with indirect discrimination and you go, I wonder if it's in the Discrimination Act or if it's in Fair Work Act. Where is it? So of course, common sense is I'm going to type here indirect discrimination and the system will tell me where to go. Now I'm going to use a Boolean connector, this phrasing of this little doggy ears here. I'm just going to do that indirect discrimination. And I hope that it will take me to the key legislative instruments which will show me where does it live. Now it does take some time. And nothing happens. And this is what I mean. So doing this search it's going to be a little bit difficult. So that's why I thought I'd tell you guys to use Google. I'm going to do the same thing. Indirect discrimination. I'm going to doggy ears it. And then I'm going to follow on with the word legislation. Hit return and it will then tell me what should I be looking for. There are associated concept with, concepts with indirect discrimination. So for example, if I want um, New South Wales, I need to go to Anti-Discrimination Act, New South Wales, and ACT is the Discrimination Act, and so on and so forth. And there is the Sex Discrimination Act. And you will see that Auntie Google tells you 
which way to go for New South Wales or for ACT or in effect for the Commonwealth um, legislative instrument. So Sex Discrimination Act 1984, that's what we run, for example. So we go back to um, Osley, go to all databases, Commonwealth, and go look for it under legislation. I know it's a little bit fiddly and look for S for sex, scroll all the way down and Sex Discrimination Act is here. And you can then click on any of the provisions, 7C, for example, for burden of proof. Now, Osley um, ingests information from source. And what I mean by source is this information is actually released by the Federal Registry of Legislation, which is this site here, legislation.gov.au. Hashtag FRL, and this is where all the legislation is stored as well. They are the um, content originators. And in fact, all the um, uh, parliaments, legislative councils have their own websites. So this is um, the Commonwealth uh, website. There's the Queensland one, there's the Victorian and the New South Wales. Now, moving on, that's how to look up legislation. The other way of um, looking at primary resources is looking for case law, as in cases. All case law comes from um, source as well. So the Supreme Courts of the states will also publish the cases, but you can also see this in Osley. So for example, again, go back to homepage, go to cases, and let's say I want to go to um, Commonwealth, and it will show you, well, what case law do you want to look at? Do you look at, want to look at family court or high court and so forth? Now. Common sense denotes that you go, well, I just want to look for a case whereby I can look up the name. So I type in one of the party's names, Jumeli, and there you go. It does come up, which is amazing, which is good. So click on that, Jumeli and Jumeli from the Western Australian Supreme Court. And that's the case here. Or on the other hand, you can go to, I want to go to Supreme Court of WA. And you'll see that I've gone there and I can then proceed to their decisions as well. It's a little bit longer. Whatever the court publishes it will be given to, to Osley anyway. Just be, bear, just be very mindful that the uh, search feels a little bit weird. <laughs> weird being understatement.